Lucky number Slevin, movie review. Slevin, played by Josh Hartnett in his one good performance of his career so far, has a bit of an avalanche of bad luck. Luck. Not luck. He has just lost his apartment, his girlfriend, and his ID due to him getting mugged, and he has just gotten inside his friend's apartment, who is currently out of town, when he is mistaken for his friend, who apparently has gambling debts at not one, but two mob bosses, the two rival mob bosses. The boss, played by Morgan Freeman, who repeats every single line intolerably, and the rabbi, played by Ben Kingsley, who taught it to a putty pat. They both want something because of these debts. The rabbi wants the debt repaid, so 33000 in 48 hours, and the boss wants in retaliation for his own son getting whacked, he wants the rabbi's son whacked. And Slevin ponders this for not very long before he decides who needs an interesting or appealing main character and he goes along with it. Seriously, there's not even like a scene of him trying to get away from the mob and they bring him back, maybe beat him up or something, and then he agrees. No, nope, he just flat out agrees. We have a couple of other supporting characters. Lucy Liu is really energetic and actually marks the one character that you maybe don't completely hate. Everyone else is quirky and just has this just odd character traits that really don't feel like they're there so much to make for interesting characters as much as just make you go, huh, that's weird, and that's pretty much what the film strives to accomplish, that reaction from the audience. We know almost nothing of what is going on. I don't mean that in some kind of artsy, pretentious, this is all symbolism kind of way. I mean things happen, but we don't understand what is actually going on. That happens for about 90 minutes, and then the last 10 or 15 minutes is spent explaining everything that happened. The end is a massive dump of exposition and, you know, twists. And the twists are really just twists for the sake of twists. You know, it's not... A twist should be surprising the audience and adding to the film, not just there as a way to explain what has gone on in the film. And frankly, when the story is actually explained there at the end, you find out it's not very interesting. If this hadn't been told with a million twists and every scene being surprising to the audience and something new happening that we didn't understand, this movie would not be very interesting. It would just be this straightforward story. So the twists are really just there to cover up the fact that the story is not very interesting. There are some good things, of course. Oh, before I get into those, though, the dialogue is just painful. I mean, I already brought up Morgan Freeman and, you know, Kingsley some, but everybody just talks in a way that just makes you want to punch him in the face. Just everybody is intolerable in this movie. And the pacing, I mean, it moves fast, I guess, but almost every scene is bogged down by this dialogue, which is just overdone. It's, it's bloated, if that makes sense. There is maybe one joke in this entire thing that kind of works, and then they go ahead and botch it right after. You know, every other joke, it's just the timing and the material itself may be decent, but just the execution is 
really poor. Anyway, there are some good things. Bruce Willis is cool. When isn't he? And he's nicely mysterious also. He's kind of maybe the mystery that is intriguing in this film. And that might also just be the sheer power of Bruce Willisness. Other than that, it's filmed and edited quite well. You know, Paul McGuigan has a nice visual style. Other than that, really just the film... I don't know, if you just want to be confused and be guessing at what is actually going on, I guess this will appeal to you. And really, for anyone who might be interested in watching this movie, or anything, just give it a little bit of time. You know, if you're still interested past the half hour mark, the film will probably be for you. And I say the half hour mark because the first 20 minutes are actually not bad. And they actually, there was some surprising going on there that actually appealed to me and that actually got me engaged. And then that swiftly ended with the introduction of Josh Hartnett and the abandon of any kind of lead that we know or are interested in. You know, I, the film goes to great lengths to, you know, bad talk the, the mob. And obviously, the mob. It's the mob. Yes, they, they are horrible, but here we have Josh Hartnett, who's apparently willing to kill someone just to get out of paying gambling. I get that it might be difficult for him, but he doesn't even seem to really think of other alternatives. He just, murder is suggested, and he, you know, he almost immediately jumps at that. And I'm sorry, that's not a very attractive main character. Please rate and comment, and hey, if you like this video, that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it.